Hey, this is Cakes and Shakes. And I am here with my mega bat dragon, Cakes, of course, one of my favorite pets in Adopt Me. And the purpose of today's video is actually something very special, folks. That's right, I am doing a three part series on, I call it becoming a master trader in Adopt Me. You might call it getting rich in Adopt Me. You could call it whatever you want, but I have been playing Adopt Me for three years. I started in July of 2021. And it's July 2024 now, and I've been playing for three years. I, the, and what I am going to do in this series is I'm going to teach you everything that I do on a daily basis to get all of these pets you see in my displays on the right. And it's not rocket science, folks. But I certainly, when I started playing Adopt Me, I wish I had somebody to tell me how to get these pets. Like, I remember when I started playing, I just thought that the pets, like, I would never have a Mega Back Dragon or a Mega Shadow Dragon or, honestly, a Mega of the any, any of the high tiers. I just thought there's, like, no way. And... I ended up getting a Mega Shadow within nine months of me starting to play. And that is starting from literally, I think the first Neon that I made was a Neon Otter. <laughs> so it can be done, folks. And I am going to teach you literally every trick that I use every day. And it's the final week of... Uh, the Summer State Fair, which has been great. But the first part of this video series, this is part one of three. I'm doing three separate videos. The first one is basically going to help you guys understand, like, uh, how, where do you, how do you get pets? Because you can't really become a master trader unless you have something to trade, right? <laughs> right. So I'm going to teach you how to become a master trader in the end, all the resources I use, all the websites I use, how I think about trades, which hopefully you get a sense of when, uh, when you watch my trading videos. But I'm gonna literally teach you everything I know about Adopt Me and trading. So stay tuned. These videos may be a little bit long, so I apologize, but I want to make sure that everybody has everything they need to be super successful uh, in Adopt Me. And listen, I'm sure there are better traders out there than me, 100% sure. There are certainly a lot richer people out there than me, but doing this, doing having the pets that I have and not having Robux, I, I get Robux from time to time, but not having really Robux, uh, I think that there are some tips that hopefully will be beneficial to all of you. And like I said, I'm gonna teach you everything that I do and everything that I know. So uh, the I'm also gonna, I'll do an inventory tour at some point, but listen, uh, actually I will do one of those really soon. I just added up all of my high tiers. So you could see I have five mega frosts. I have eight mega owls. I have nine mega parrots. I have five mega crows. I've got two mega bat dragons. I've got four neon bat dragons. I got one mega shadow. Anyways, if you add all of that up using today's values, I have over 300 equivalents of 300. My inventory is worth 300 plus just in my high tier. So um, I'm going to teach you exactly how you can do the same thing. Step one. <laughs> so step number one, folks, is pretty simple. And that is tip number one, how to get pets. So how do you get pets? Well, it's pretty simple. The way you get pets is you got to start with, there's really two or three ways. One is you have Robux and you're able to buy pets. So 
Like you could buy the mini pig or you could buy the, the balloon unicorn. I'm actually gonna lock my house here so I don't get interrupted. But uh, if you have Robux, everything I'm gonna tell you is way, way simpler, but it's the same principles. If you don't have Robux like me, I get Robux from time to time, but not very much. So I have to trade for pretty much everything I get. So if you don't have Robux, all of this stuff works, but the first thing you gotta do is get pets. So how do you get pets? Well, unfortunately folks, like I said, I started with a, I think uh, the first pet I hatched was an otter out of the egg back in July of 20. 21. That was when the ocean egg was out. It was only in for about a week before it was out. So I hatched an otter. I ended up making a neon otter. But step number one, folks, is you got to get bucks. So you can see I have about 67,000 bucks here. Now, how did I get that? Well, I grew pets. So if you don't have anything, you know, you've got to go to, um, you got to go to the town square and first off right you've got to buy eggs so you come over to the gumball machine you buy the eggs you hatch the eggs that is you and you just keep rinsing and repeating that i really got rich when the mythic egg was out so i literally i don't even know how many mythic eggs i have on this account i'm actually curious myth all right, I have, I have 156. I have, I know on my first account, I have over 400 still on that account. So what I did is I grinded, right? I played Adopt Me every day and I hatched pets and I made megas of everything. It's, it, you know, that is the easiest. And I know it's hard. I know people don't like grinding, but you gotta do that. And use multiple accounts, folks. If you have multiple devices, use them your growing goes twice as fast i was actually grinding with three accounts at a time now i usually do two just because three is just hard to manage and quite off quite uh quite um quite honestly so use multiple devices hatch eggs grow pets that is kind of tip number one and as you can see, like we're sitting here doing a video and I'm still growing cakes, right? We're gonna go to camp. We're gonna go get the camp need, right? We are, and you can also notice I am super fast, right? I pretty much can't play Adopt Me anymore without speed potions, but speed potions are really good for multiple reasons. One is that you just get around the Adopt Me Island way quicker. And so if you do that, you're able to actually move around and do things a lot faster than you'd otherwise be able to do. Next tip, guys, is you gotta play mini games when they are in game. It is a great way to get pets. So, you know, for example, the, the I always hop over to the mini games, in this case, right? The bull riding one. And you come over here and you get tickets, right? You save tickets up. Look, I have one point, almost 1.6 million tickets, right? And I am going to spend those on pets. So when I do that, it gets me richer because now I have pets in my inventory that I can trade for other pets. So you really want to maximize the mini game time, whether it's uh, the pony stables or the bull riding or whatever. Whenever Adopt Me has mini games in game that allow you to buy free pets, you should do it because it is a huge way to get rich in Adopt Me. Next is make sure you take full advantage. So let's go back up to my house. Oh, actually, I don't think I can actually use that here now that I remember. So let's go back to my house. We are gonna, I'm gonna, I have a magic door that makes things a little bit simpler, but let's go back to my house. I always, so I've set up, you know, a growing house where I've got everything set up that needs to be set up, whether, you know, it's this stuff right here, the food, the water, all of it. But 
Look, I also have, I bought a cauldron here to make speed potions. I think that's 700 or 750 bucks if you go up to edit house, stuff, uh, cold. I spelled it wrong, C-A-U-L. All right, there we go. So here's the speed cauldron, 650 bucks. I, this is what I use to get around quickly. There's also the money tree, which you can collect up to, five, I think it's 150, maybe 200 bucks a day. It costs, this is the money tree. You come up to stuff and you, you search on money. It's 1,450 bucks, but that's 14 days. 14 days and it pays for itself, or actually less if it's 100, that's if it's 100 bucks a day. But that's a great way to get bucks. I also, I've got my lure uh, hidden over here, but we're gonna go. The other thing is every four hours, replace your lure because that allows you to get free pets. It allows you to get bucks. It allows you to do all of that. So I highly recommend doing all of those things. You can do jobs to get bucks. So if you come in to the salon or the school, you come over here, and you sign up and do a job, all of a sudden, every, I don't know, I think it's every minute, you get 10 or 15 bucks. So I've got my little uniform on. That's another way to get bucks, to buy eggs, to hatch eggs, to get pets, to make neons, to make megas, to trade them. So you got, like I said earlier, it, you gotta have pets to get rich. And if you don't, if you have Robux, this is all way easier because you can just buy the pets. But if you don't have, and, but you still need to grow them to make Megas and make Neons. I think I've made, I've literally made hundreds, hundreds of uh, Megas and Neons in my three years. I know I've made over 15 Mega Phoenixes and other pets. So you've got to grow. It's way easier uh, if you, it's definitely easier if you have Robux because you can get high demand pets like, uh, you know, like the balloon unicorn, for example, for a thousand Robux. So what else can you do to get bucks? Well, when I'm in a game, every time you're in game, buy, if you have, if you're able to, you can trade for these too, but put out a lemonade stand or one of the other stands. So if I go to my uh, toys and there's a couple things here. So I've got a hot dog stand, I've got a hot cocoa stand. If I put out a hot dog stand, you could put these out, set price. I'm gonna say 50 bucks for a hot dog. Now listen, some folks would sit there and say, oh, that's way too expensive or a lemonade for, I, I think the max you can do on lemonade is 20 bucks. Put it in for the max. Why is that? Because you'd be surprised the number of people that will pay 20 bucks for a lemonade or 50 bucks for a hot dog. If you put them in for a dollar, you're gonna have to sell 50 of them to get the same amount of money. I get people that pay me 20 bucks or 50 bucks all the time. So highly recommend, just put it in for the max. All you gotta do is get one or two of those to make 20 if you put it in for a dollar or two. Next. Buy one of these trade stands. So the trade stands allow you to display a pet that you want to trade. So every time you come into a game, put a pet there that you want to trade. So you always have a way where there's somebody who's there looking at your pets, making an offer. Next, in your description, right? In the description above your name, put what it is you're looking for. So like, I'm looking for, uh, looking for balloon unis. So if I'm looking for balloon unis, put it in the description of your head, above your head so people know that. It's also, when I first start, started playing, we didn't have the profiles. And I'll explain what I mean by that. The profiles make this way less necessary, but it's always helpful. Like, put everything out there that you're looking for. Next tip, use your profile effectively. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm gonna show you. So the profile is something that gets you, it, that gives you a huge, huge advantage. So you could see, <laughs> I've played over 6,000 hours of Adopt Me, which is, it's like if I started in January and played every hour 
in that every month, every hour of every day, I would have played nine months all the way through September. So I've played a lot of Adopt Me here in my last three years, folks. And I've got a lot of pets, I've got a lot of megas. But what I use is I, when people click on my profile, I always say need these or pets I want. So you can see here, I want a goose, a kookaburra, a peppermint penguin, a goat. These are all pets that I want to make megas of. And so I always put them in my profile so that people know, and, and it's kind of like, I know those are pets that I want. It may take me a year, you know, to get all of the African wild dogs that I want to get, but I'll get them eventually and I'll be able to make a mega. And so if these are here, people will offer you, they'll just come up and see them on your profile and they will offer you these pets and it gives you an opportunity to offer for them. Also, make sure you have a section on pets you're trading. Like I've got pets in my inventory that I'm sitting here saying, yep, I'm trading these pets. So it always lets people know what you have in your inventory that you're trading. And I have people all the time that'll just say, hey, can I offer for your neon kangaroo? So make sure you make really good use of your profile. That is a definitely a pro tip. And it's something that they we didn't have three years ago, right? This just came out a month or two ago. So next one would be Always do all the stuff. You can see I have no tasks on my task board. Always do the stuff on your task board. It gives you bucks. And I always say save up my fully grown pets until they are fully grown so that I can get the RGB boxes. You'll see on this account alone, I have 43 RGB boxes. 43. That's a lot of megas. That's, uh, you know, that's 15 megas. So almost 15 megas. So I have been saving those up for a little while, but you want to make sure that you use those tasks to get bucks, to be able to buy pets and so forth. So that is uh, most of what I wanted to tell you today, folks. This is all about getting bucks. It's all about having something to trade and it's all about having, you know, just making good use of your time, just like I'm doing right now where I'm going over to the beach to grow cake. So make good use of your time. Always get do those needs. You'd be surprised how many needs you can do uh, while you're in game. So hopefully this is helpful. I know if you've been playing Adopt Me for a while, this is all basic stuff. Got it, I know, I know. But listen, these are the things I do constantly. Use your trade stands, put out a lemonade stand, do all of those things. Use your profile effectively to get the best opportunity for you so that you can get as many trades as you want. Now, I know I haven't told you much about trading strategy. That's coming in part two and part three. So stay tuned for that, folks. I hope this you found this helpful. I know if you're new, there's lots of stuff here that you can use. If you've been around for a while, probably stuff you already know, that's okay. The next one, the next videos you're gonna really like because I'm gonna show you exactly the websites that I use, how I think about trades and all of that, how I do trades, where I get my trades, all of that, how I think about that. So that is gonna be for a little bit more advanced, but I wanted these videos to kind of build on one another. Start with the basics and then the next video, I'm gonna assume, yep, you already have pets to trade. And so now let's talk about being a master trader. So good luck out there. I hope this was helpful to you. Look, be looking for video number two in this series. And this is where it's gonna get fun because I'm gonna show you everything I know about trading. All right, folks. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see all of you really soon. Bye.